But anyways, let's just get started with the pairing. Let's just turn it on by pressing here. So there you go. If you hear that sound, it means it's on. And then it's pairing already since it's brand new. So get your phone, get tablet, anything really, and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Once you're in your Bluetooth, so let me just show you on tablets, bigger screen so you guys can see that better. You're gonna see this, JBL Clip 4, and then just pair it up. That's it. As long as you guys heard that sound, it means it's paired up. And that's how easy it is to pair it up. And there you go. You guys can go on and play anything from your iPad or your phone, and you will hear it right here. So just to show you an example, right now I'm playing a video, and the sound's coming out from here. I can turn up the volume with this. And I can turn down the volume just by pressing here. At any point in time, I can just press this, and it's gonna stop the video in this case. In this case, it's a video, but if it was music, there you go. You can press it again to keep playing. So that's how easy it is to handle this thing. If you want to turn it off at any point, just hold on here and it's going to turn it off. So that's how you guys can pair this. If you guys want to pair it to something else, there's your Bluetooth. Just hold on to it and then pair it with your next thing. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. Hey guys, we're gonna take a look at this message that you might get. So what does this mean? This means that you have to install this Rosetta in order for some programs to work. M1, M2, M3 computer. And it's not the same thing as Intel, but Intel things can work on it. You just have to install that. So we're gonna go ahead and install right now. Just install software. It's gonna validate, install, and then there you go. Right now you can run any programs that are for Intel based computers, which there's a lot of Mac programs out there. And um, there's other ones that you can download the correct version of the program, which would be best for your Mac, obviously, but they're gonna work regardless. So next time you try to open up the program, it should work just fine, as long as you follow this tutorial. So right now we're gonna give it access and we are done. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like, thank you.